Now we go to example 2. Given m equal to 2. Causes of decrement. So in actual science, decrement meaning determination from a given status. So in example 2, the decrement is 2. This is force of mortality for due to cos 1 and this is force of mortality due to cos 2. And we have to find probability will become a decrement before t equal to 10 due to cos 1 and this is due to cos 2. So, to find the probability will become a decrement before time t due to cos j, we have to integrate t p x tau times mu x plus s due to cos j ds. First, we find t p x tau. t p x tau is equal to e negative mu x plus t tau. So the mu x plus t tau is total of all the courses. So we have two courses here, mu x plus t due to cos 1 plus mu x plus t due to cos 2. We can get tpx tau. So recall tpx is equal to e negative integration of force of mortality. So this is for single decrement. So it is same for tpx tau. Then we integrate the mu x plus t tau. So finally we get tpx tau. Then we can find the first probability. So for single decrement, we also have to integrate tpx times mu x plus t. But for this time, for multiple decrement, we have to use tpx tau times mu x plus t due to cos 1. Then we substitute the values. We have to use the integration by part. Finally, we get the answer is equal to 0 0.0858. Second one, due to cos 2, so we have to use force of mortality due to cos 2. Then we solve the integration and finally we get 0 0.1903. So now we go to next section, construction of multiple decrement table or MDT. So we have QX tau. So we have QX1 and QX2. So there are, there are two types of group lives. The first one is random survivorship group and second one is deterministic survivorship group. We start with LA tau, a group of lives, all HA. So each life has a future described by the joint PDF of T and J. So again, we have TPA tau times mu A plus T J. So the first definition, LX tau, 
is a number of survivors at age X from LA Tau. So this is the property of surviving from A to X. In terms of H, if you use in terms of T, it's from T equal to 0 to X minus A. So this is the expected number of surviving to H X from A, a group of L A tau. So we use binomial. And second one is number of leaving the group L A tau from X to X plus N due to cos J. So the notation is N D X J. So from X to X plus N, this is number of living group L A tau. Next one is probability leaving the group between X and X plus N. So the boundaries is from X minus A to X plus N minus A. So the notation is the QX. We integrate TPA tau mu A plus T due to cos J dT. Finally, we get N dX J is LX tau times N QX J. So number of surviving at H x for all causes tau times the probability of leaving from x to x plus n due to cos j. So n dx j is from x to x plus n, number of living. And dxj is from x to x plus 1. Since it's due to j, so the probability is due to j as well. But you have to remember lx is always tau. So Qx tau is equal to dx tau over lx tau. So for all courses, so we have to use tau. So lx tau, lx plus 1 tau. So number of surviving here and number of surviving at x plus 1. The difference is dx tau from x to x plus 1. So example 3. Given m equal to 2, this is 4, causes. The force of mortality due to cos 1 equal to 1. And the force of mortality due to cos 2 equal to 1 over 90 minus x. And we start with Lx tau equal to 1,000. So we can fill in the table here, 1,000. In order to find number of living due to cos 1 and due to cos 2, first we have to find the probability of living due to cos 1, cos 2, and the total Qx tau using this information. First of all, we have to find Tpx tau. So Tpx tau is equal to E negative integration of force of mortality for all courses, so for tau. And we plug in all the values given and we get 
E negative t times 90 minus x minus t over 90 minus x. Then we can solve for the first one. So it is from 87 to 88, the probability of living. So we have to integrate from 0 to 1 since t is equal to 1. Then we plug in the values. We have to solve the integration by parts. Finally, we get 0 0.544. Cos 2. So we have to use mu x plus t for cos 2 equal to 1 over 90 minus x minus t. So we plug in the h and we get 0 0.2107. Next is for H88 due to cos 1. So cos 1 is equal to 1. Then we solve the integration by part. Let u equal to 2 minus t. And dv is equal to e, the power of negative t, dt. And uv minus v du. And finally, we get 0 0.5. And for cos 2, we use force of mortality for cos 2. And we plug in the values inside. And we get 0 0.3161. And for H89, Finally, we got 0 0.3679. And the last one is equal to 0 0.6321. Then we can write in all the values in the table. We also can fill in dx1 and dx2 using the probability of living. So this is qx1 plus qx2.